Now coming to the first principle, fixed principle. This was based on the principle developed by Adolf Fick way back in 1870. This is the gold standard for cardiac output estimation. What is fixed principle? The amount of substance, for instance, this is oxygen here, taken up by an organ per whole body unit time is equal to arterial level of oxygen minus the venous level of oxygen times the blood flow. Here the blood flow is the cardiac output. Your cardiac output is equal to oxygen consumption by difference of arterial oxygen minus venous oxygen. That is the basic principle. Here for getting the arterial oxygen content, you can take a sample from any convenient artery. For taking the venous sample, ideally you should take from the pulmonary artery which is the end point of the venous system. If you take blood from the right atrium, some mixing can happen and may not reflect the true value. Ideally, the sample taken from the pulmonary artery is representative of the whole body. That is the difference between mixed venous oxygen saturation and the central venous oxygen saturation. Now, this is the inspired oxygen where you breathe from the external source. This is the alveoli and this is the pulmonary artery. As the oxygen comes from the alveoli through the pulmonary artery, gas exchange happens and your iota, systemic artery becomes oxygenated. Now, the saturation in the arterial system is around 100 percent and the content is around 20 ml per deciliter which is being available to the organ system. As this oxygenated blood goes into the organ system, 25 percent of the oxygen is extracted. In other words, the oxygen consumption is around 250 ml. The normally, around 1000 ml is being delivered to the organ system. Your oxygen delivery is 1000 ml, 250 ml is consumed. Your oxygen content is around 20 ml per deciliter of which 25% is extracted. So, what happens in the venous side? The venous side saturation is around 25% because from 75%, 25% is extracted, it is 75%. Put in other words, out of 1000 ml which is delivered, 250 ml of oxygen is being utilized. So, there will be 750 ml of oxygen which is available. So, depends upon this consumed oxygen which is around 250 ml, you calculate the cardiac output. So, output of the ventricle is your oxygen consumption which is 250 ml and the difference in the arterial and the venous oxygen concentration. The consumption is 250 ml, the arterial side content is 20 ml per deciliter and the venous side it is 15 ml per deciliter. Substituting the value, you get a cardiac output of 5 liter per minute. This is how you calculate cardiac output based on fixed principle.